So you want to be better at making videos. I'm going to give you five tips today that are going to help you be better. It basically from where you're at to where you want to go. And that's better. So if you're new, if you're kind of in the middle, you have a medium sized channel, or if you have a large channel, you can still benefit from these tips. And number one is be consistent. And you might say, well, why would that be important? Because you're promising your audience a certain time that you're going to provide them with a video or a certain number every week. And if you're not consistent, people are going to stop counting on you. It kind of ruins your credibility if you think about it. If I tell you that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at two o'clock, you will get a video from me. And I say, hit that notification button, hit it, by the way, I'm going to give you more than that. Um, if you're telling people that and then you're not providing what you promised, it really ruins your credibility. It doesn't matter how good your videos are, but people will stop watching and they'll go off and watch somebody else who's, who's consistent and says what, does what they say they're going to do. Another thing that is very important to be consistent with, and I don't think a lot of people think about this, is be consistent with your content. If you're talking about how to build a business, then make sure all of your content surrounds that. Now, you might start having an interest in... Um, Instagram or something like that, or that let's do something more off the wall, let horseback riding. <laughs> and you might want to start, you know, giving videos on how to, how to properly go horseback riding. It has nothing to do with building a business. I really wanted two things that were totally apart from each other. But if you have other interests, then build, then build another channel. Um, I, I know one person, Evan Carmichael, if you want to look him up, he's got like nine different channels and he's really, they're all huge and he's really built them. Um, and they're all separate. They have different um, interest in them. So you can have more than one. You just want to make sure things are consistent within the one channel. Number two, Two, contradicts number one but if you really want to get better on YouTube or be better at what you're doing and we measure better by more subscribers and more views right that's kind of the data that is behind YouTube then you want to have more videos it's just math it just makes sense if you're only providing one video a week your your chances of growing are going to be smaller because your um, YouTube is promoting your videos when people are searching and yes you might have a fantastic video but you only have one while somebody over here might be putting out seven a week so this person with seven just has more chances of being seen and searched for so just makes sense with the math. Um, maybe when you get really huge, if you're not worried about growing as much as looking at really good high content quality and maybe lengthier videos and you really want to put more into them, then I would suggest maybe backing off to one or two a week. But definitely if you're looking to grow, then you definitely want to put out more videos. And they don't have to be 30 minutes long or 45 minutes long. People like a good quality content and their time is really valuable. So if what you have to say is said within eight minutes, then that's great. Don't draw it out and drag it out. That's, that's not going to help it get any better. Now, since we're talking about what YouTube does and wants, you, you need to be familiar with YouTube's rules and not just the analytics, but everything about YouTube. There are certain things you can't do when you have a channel. Um, I was just watching um, a, another video actually in YouTube Creator Academy. I highly recommend that you watch the videos in there and you'll learn everything you need to know about what YouTube wants you to do they're going to they talks about how to help you grow your channel how to grow an audience and how to have good content and things like that and follow the rules and one of the things that they talk about is monetization um, if you get to the point where you could be monetized where you have four thousand hours and a thousand subscribers you can get declined just because you didn't follow one of their simple rules and maybe you didn't know that rule maybe you did something like use somebody's music um that you weren't supposed to use and you didn't know that, then you could get declined and you would hate for that to happen. So make sure you go to YouTube Academy, Creator Academy, and just start watching those videos. Um, put it into your schedule, maybe you know 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, get some training. If this is something you're serious about, then you really wanna watch those videos and make sure that you're in compliance with what YouTube wants. Number four, model successful YouTubers, and I don't mean become them, but look at some of the things that they're doing. Now, for instance, you might just look at their style. Um, some people like to have a screen behind them. Some people have a beautiful office set up or like a, <laughs> which I don't, you, you don't want to see my office. Um, but 
what are they doing? What are things that you like that they're doing? Some people like to go outside when they videotape or, you know, what is it that they're doing that might draw people in? And, you know, some people can be really excited, like cheerleader type thing, and it works for them. Other people are more serious, which works for them. But be yourself, but still look at what is successful for other people. Look at the types of videos that they're putting out. Um, are they using that intro? I notice some people use them. I notice some people don't. Does it matter? What kind of success are they having? Um, just just look at them, but don't copy them, as, if that makes sense. Look at them as a model. And what are things that you want to take from different successful video creators and use it in your own and just start experimenting. You might even start putting different things together and then creating your own little style, if that makes sense. But always try to improve is my point. Don't just do the same thing over and over and not do anything different and improve from there. And number five might be contradicting number four. While I'm telling you to model other people, I think it's really important for you to hang on to who you are and be yourself, just be your best self. Um, I say that because sometimes we start getting so caught up in watching other people and seeing how successful they are and we're trying to figure out why. And then we start trying to become them and then we lose ourselves. And that's why I really wanted to put those two points together Yes, I want to model and see what people are doing, but I also don't want to lose who I am and you don't want to lose who you are, but you do want to be the best version of you. You want to keep getting better. So five tips that'll help you become better on YouTube and they're easy tips to do. They're very easy things to consistently improve on so that you can be better at what you're doing. And don't forget to hit that notification button. My consistency to you is six videos a week as of this video, and they are posted every day from Monday through Saturday at 3.30. And I will always give you videos to, to help you build your business, especially using YouTube to create for your content. Um, I experimented with different platforms and I am 1000% love this platform and I think it's the best one out there. And my reasoning is it's evergreen. Once you make a video and you put it on here and this is your content to help build your business, it doesn't go away. It's so discouraging when you're posting, in my opinion, on Facebook or Instagram or something like that, where it goes out um, the the an analytics will um, decide or the algorithms will decide, you know, who sees it and who doesn't see it. But here, whoever is searching for you will find it. Um, and, and it's just the competition isn't the same and it doesn't disappear. And that's the biggest thing. All right. You have a good one and I will see you on the next video.